what is up what is good guys guys and everybody else welcome back to the channel welcome back to the house of k to work for that and we are back with another overload reaction we are on episode 13 sorry 12 and 13 right now um yeah this is what everybody's been waiting for guys this is what we all been waiting for the final showdown between shout here and einzo gong bruv <laughs> first time i saw this showdown i was like yo this is crazy because it's like the overlord right the master of nazarick versus one of the strongest beings in nazarick so far the whole world has done nothing to to you know the denizens of nazarick like uh, apart from shoutier's mind control which was done by uh, a world-class item right that's a rare case that is an exception but otherwise, nobody else, no like living being or even a dead being has managed to put dent in Nazarick. You know, has managed to 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 do any harm to Nazarick. You know what I mean? So this was like very, very exciting. This was like, yo, let's see what is going to happen. Let's see if Shoutier is really as good as I say she is. Because I mean, if he, if if Albedo, you know, is is... Uh, is a tank that you know protects Ainz Ogong if she is Ainz's shield, right? Then and and Ainz says, uh, she asks her if she could if she thinks she could defeat Shoutier. Then she Shoutier has to be on a whole nother level, then okay, not a whole nother level, but at least Shoutier has to be so good at you know, uh, one on one combat, like you know, so yeah, that was very exciting for me. That was very very exciting uh yeah <laughs> but let me not keep you guys waiting um without further ado let's just get into this one there you go all right he had given all the guardians world-class items ありました。それ。お前たちに預けた最初の<笑><笑> <laughs> I was like, ah, meet me. <laughs> it's crazy that these guys all have like their own ways of showing like their loyalty, right? Demi Jay is willing to disobey Ainz's orders to protect him, you know? She's kind of scary though. I get her though, I get her. で<笑><笑><笑> Oh, first time we saw that this dude had like diamond eyes or that we saw clearly at least or at least for me anyways so cool. all the bad odds man <laughs> Yeah, those were bad odds. 
You know, sometimes shit just happens, bro. Sometimes shit just happens. You just can't control everything. Right, the reason he did this The reason he did this on his own was because he did not want to see them kill each other I don't know <laughs> Time to flex for sure. And this was barely like a fraction of all the magic spells that this guy can use, right? Because it says you can use like what, 713 spells? 704? Somewhere there? Yo, yes, look at that. From the get go, super tier magic from the get go. <laughs> Straight. The spells look dope, though. They look really dope. <laughs> but he got himself an eye watch fam an apple watch <laughs> That is crazy, bro. Damn. <laughs> and she looks dope though. Her, her uh, armor is on point. I like the, the vision they did there to like show us that you know, she's not exactly like herself or she's not thinking clearly or seeing clearly Della. The clothes is putting on, right? I heard they're like, um, they boost magic caster's abilities or something like that? Is it? You know, you can see that, you know, she is not bad at tactics. She's pretty good. But I think the difference here was that um, Ainz has more experience. He's been involved in a lot more battles than her. <laughs> Wow. 
That should have been a, a very big red flag. She should have become a lot more cautious just from that. <laughs> oh, delay, yeah, for sure. That's so dope though. <laughs> I won't let you escape. I wonder what um, what touch me summer's reality slash is like because apparently it's like on a whole nother level I really want to see that that is true Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is basically like who, who can bleed out f faster. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Wait, but why does True Dark work on uh, on Shaochi? Isn't she also a dead? Isn't that supposed to not work on her? Unless I'm missing something. That I get. <laughs> what did you expect? けなまほ。何も理解されないかもしれないが、私はこの瞬間にギルド長としての満足感を得て。何だろうな。私は、いや、俺はギルド長の地位にあったが、基本的に。Let's <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to it. <laughs> Wait, she has four pairs of wings now? So two pairs of wings now? I did not notice that. I've never noticed that before. Fell <laughs> for it. That is dope. <laughs> That's like self uh, self guiding missiles. Man. She looks amazing.
<laughs> oh, she did actually die and then come back to life. So, like everything. Don't get caught. <laughs> it all went according to my plan. And that's when Shouty realized she might have fucked up, yeah. Ah, it's always amazing. It's always fucking amazing. Every time I watch it, I love it. <laughs> and that skill at the end, that skill at the end is amazing. Well, I'll be doing um episode thirteen right after this. I'll put them together probably. Yeah, I'll pro I'll put them together. Anyways, that skill at the end, the whole the goal of all life is death. That's a badass skill. That is a bad ass skill, fam. And you know the fact that Einzogon specializes in instant death magic. It just makes so much sense. And they say that skill like kills everything in that area, like every single thing, the soil, the air, any living thing. Where have you guys ever heard that even the air died, that the soil died? Where have you heard that before? Which anime, which movie? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, I lost my shit. Time. Like, when I when I listened to that part, when I listened to that light novel, and they got to this part, I lost my shit. Oh, like, bro, damn. Because I was a bit confused when I watched the anime the first time, actually the first couple of times, you know. I was confused, like, what, what the hell is going on? I just thought like, you know, maybe there's just like some explosion and, you know, things just happened and the, the summons, the household summons died and then that's it. But nah, fam, everything died. And it makes sense. Okay, it kind of makes sense why the soil turned into sand. Because like sand is basically made of what, silica and oxygen at its very base, right? So, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Um... I guess that's the most basic form that the, the creators thought they could use to emphasize that, you know, things actually died here. <laughs> that um, there's basically like a blank slate. I don't really know the exact reason why they chose sand, but it makes sense. You know, you can, you can figure it out if they use sand like that, which is dope. So they say like, you know, uh, any living creature that would have breathed in the air in that in in that area would have instantly died too. <laughs> Yo, like if we're being honest, that means you know, Ains basically won. Ains basically won this fight. He basically won this fight. Uh, the only thing that saved Xiaoqie in this situation is that chi that Pero and Chino Summer gave her. That's it. <laughs> That's it. If it was anybody else, dead. Battle over. No questions asked. <laughs> Yo, and I, I guess it was good that, you know, Ainz was pretty chilled with most of his, uh, most of his guildmates, right? Because he only knew about this because Perenchino and him were actually pretty close. And, and they talked about this. He told them about this ability. He, I'm pretty sure he told them about most of her abilities, if not all of them, right? So I guess that that is what gave him that um, extra edge in this fight. Knowledge. You know, information is power in war, bro. Damn. <laughs> oh, damn, I love it. Anyways, uh, let's just get into the next one. Yeah, <laughs> let go. Just look at that. All that area from that's massive. Yeah, true. Yeah, 
効果的な雰囲気を見せた<笑>逆に炎属性は弱点のままなのに Dude, dude, like, you know, just power through it. Alright,、oh, he also did memorize most of the data on the NPCs.、Mm. <laughs> She's losing it, though. <laughs> Dope! <laughs> Yo, even Kokaitis was like, God damn, this dude is cool. <laughs> Tachibi doesn't wear armor, right? Isn't. Oh no, he's an insect. Insectoid who wears armor. Right, he can also wear armor. That's dope. That's dope. Takemi Kazuchi. Come on. Daiso Go does not know defeat. The dialogue is on point. <laughs> oh, and she was like, Yo, opportunity, let me go for it. Nope. Bro, those things are cheap, bro. <laughs> I wonder who used that, those arms, though. Those, uh, that bowl. Apparently, that bowl is like basically the sun. The thing at the, at the end of that bowl is basically like having the sun in your, at the end of your bowl. That is dope, fam. Damn. <laughs> that is crazy. He has no other choice, yeah. Blood sucking meat devourer. Bruh, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right it has. Damn right it has. Tell her. Have confidence. <laughs> But I also don't understand what that timer was for. What exactly was it for? What did it show? Or was it just to show that her HP has gone down to that level? Falling down! He's got a cheat! 
That was um, Aura, right? And this is, yeah, this shows like, you know, these guys are actually very good friends, eh? The BFFs. Hell, I is all gone. <laughs> They just put it like they just put like a hint of it. She looks like shorty. Like most people would not catch that. I know I definitely did not catch that. I did not catch that in the anime. You know, I think a lot of people did not catch that if they only watch the anime. その時は僭越ながら私どもで対処させていただきます。デミュルゴス。これ以上思考の恩方であるアインズ様の身に明確な危険が迫ると認めることこそ最も相応しくないと判断いたします。え、え、そう。This <笑> That's exactly how Ainz feels, you know? Even though he has the guardians and whatnot. But still. Yo! <laughs> <clears throat> It is, this is actually a dope way to, to resurrect someone though. She must be exhausted. <laughs> Yo, her hair is long as hell. She's done though, I, it's understandable. <laughs> Three Alpha, they too. I wonder what she's when Yuri Alpha are doing there though. I thought this was just like a Guardians thing. Oh, look at him. Damn, I kind of feel for Ainz though. I mean, those were the only friends he had. Damn. Oh, and I, I heard that, you know, Albedo actually kind of knows how Ainz feels. She can feel how Ainz feels in some sort of way because when he changed her code, he became like a co-creator of hers. And so they follow like a, they, they have like a certain bond between them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you couldn't have thought of everything, you know? <laughs> He's bait. <laughs> Way to put it, fam. <laughs> Those guys will pay. 
the theocracy does not know what they just got themselves into, fam. No need. Maybe. They'll believe it. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no, that's not exactly true, but yeah, you know, that's a, that's a, a logical way of thinking. <laughs> Damn. Downfall of Castle and Country. Ah, they're moving. <clears throat> I'll take everything. Yeah, this guy's advanced quick though. I'm sure it's been like maybe a couple of months since the last showed up. Nah. It can't be a couple of months. It's been like maybe a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks since the last came to um, <clears throat> Carney Village. And they've already built like a solid wall like that. Damn. Dude that lost his mind fam. <laughs> Dude went from filling himself up here to <laughs> Adamantite. Let's go. Beautiful Princess Navi. Damn, I had a mantide of all the mantides, fam. <laughs> Damn, do, do you know how do, you would feel yourself if somebody told you, hey, that there are currently no jobs that, you know, that are big enough for you. <laughs> And this is also something that I did not notice the first time. This time, right here, this is when uh, they were about to go and uh, flex on the lizard men. Uh, you know, with all the guardians and eins and whatnot. I, I never got that. And, you know, I think a lot of people also did not get that. Especially if they just, re if they just watched the, um, the, the anime. Because... Uh, I mean, the time period between season one and season two, right? You'd have probably forgotten. And even if you did rewatch it, it was a bit like, you know, um, vague. The time period, it was a bit confusing. But yeah, this was right right before they went to flex on the lizard, man. <laughs> and, you know, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I actually enjoyed the lizard, man arc. I actually, I thought it was a pretty good arc. It was a pretty solid arc for, especially for like, you know, world building and whatnot. Because it opened up the world to a lot more, um, you know. <clears throat> the, the only thing about the Lizard Man arc that, you know, I still kind of don't like is, is that they don't bring them back a lot. In, like in the light novel. Because like, as far as I know, they only brought them back um, during the training, like when they're training uh, Hamsky and the uh, Death Knight, and um, during the Dwarven Kingdom arc. After that, I don't think they ever brought them up again. So I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they, you know, they show us a bit more. And I also hope that they show us like the Toad Men. Because apparently, um, um, Kokaitis also conquered the, the Toad Men, right? Who shared the lake, the lake with the Lizard Men. 
So I want to see those too. You know, I really want to see those guys too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this was great as always. It's always, always fucking great. I always enjoy this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> I can't wait to get to the next uh, to the next season. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what to, what you guys thought of this episode, what you guys thought of the first season as a whole, and um, you know <clears throat> what did I miss or what did I get wrong. You guys can let me know in the comments below. And yeah, later. <laughs>